What's up guys, welcome back. My name is David Rodriguez. I'm a 360 booth director. If it's your very first time on this channel, this is the part where you definitely have to subscribe because today I'm gonna be discussing the videos I'm gonna be covering in these next few days, the next couple weeks. And I hope that these upcoming videos are gonna be a massive help to your 360 booth business. Now, what's up guys? Before I start off this video, big shout outs to Hannon Romans, which is a supplier I first bought my 360 booth from. My booth just had its first issue at an Amazon event. I had to cut the belt, so I went from automatic to manual on the spot. I was able to execute the event. Thank goodness I did not have to provide a refund and I was able to execute the event. So I reached out to my supplier, Hen and Romans. Cindy went ahead and sent me my replacement parts. I'm gonna be making a video on how to replace the belt, how to replace the sensor, and how to replace the motor if you need to. These are upcoming videos and this is why it's important to subscribe. I don't wanna sound like one of those YouTubers that just wants you to subscribe for the, whatever reason. No, I want you to subscribe if these videos are adding value to your life or you find these videos helpful enough that you wanna be notified whenever these upcoming videos are gonna be coming out. So that's one video on how to replace the parts. Two, behind me guys, I have a brand new 360 booth still in the flight case. I'm gonna go ahead and assemble that. I'm gonna show you guys how to assemble your 360 booth. For those who haven't received the 360 booth, you might wanna watch that video. That's why I'm saying subscribe and hit the notification bell. Go ahead and hit the like button whenever you guys feel like it during the making of this video. Now, another thing I'm gonna show you guys is the pros and cons of Luma Booth. That's a video that I wanna put out because I feel like a lot of people are wondering what else besides touch picks can I use? In fact, let's make another video where it compares Luma Booth with touch picks. You know, the pros and cons because depending on what you guys wanna accomplish as 360 booth directors, some of these applications can really help you out just, depend on, just depending on what your motive is and what you're trying to execute. One other thing I wanna talk about guys is growing your business. I haven't been on the uh, YouTube platform in a while. The reason why is because I've been on this 360 booth journey and not just 360 booth, but a business owner in general and I've been going out there and trying new things out. So I am back with data that's going to add value to your life because this is data that's worked for me. These are methods that have really worked for me and now I'm making more money. Now one way that I've scaled my business in the last few weeks is this. People started calling me and asking me if they can just rent out the stanchions and red carpet. And then from there, people started calling me because they wanted to just rent out the cold spark service for the quinceanera or the anniversary or the wedding dance. And then on top of that, now people are asking for the dancing on cloud effect. Now as 360 booth operators, we have acquired a lot of equipment, fog machines, lighting, RGB lights and things like that. So as we continue to add more things to our business, we can start scaling our business by becoming a party rental business. And that's how I've been making more money. Now, before I leave here, before I leave this particular video, I wanna leave on this note is that guys, there's a lots and lots of money to be made as 360 booth businesses. I'll tell you one thing, if you guys have cold spark machines and you guys have a pair, right? Someone calls you, you can charge anywhere from 300 to a thousand dollars for those 360 booth i'm not, not i'm sorry not 360 booth but you can charge that amount of money to rent out those cold sparkles for that particular dance and that dance ranges anywhere from three to five minutes i had a discussion with one of my previous um clients and they had cold sparks on stage i asked them out of curiosity how much did they pay for those cold sparks someone charged them a thousand dollars just for that hour which was crazy so in my mind you know guys i'm thinking like business right so i'm thinking okay i'm gonna go ahead and start marketing just the coach parts as a separate service now if you can combine that with the low line fog bundle oh man sky's the limit guys let's continue to make money let's continue to help each other out go ahead and post your questions on the facebook group i have the facebook group link in the description box below thank you guys so much for your time stay blessed and Help me out with that thumbs up if this video helped you guys out.